Hello and welcome to the course Startup Guide for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Let me start by a quick introduction here. I am Piyush Palewal, your host for this course. I've been working as a Microsoft Dynamics CRM consultant for more than half a decade and have been associated with Microsoft for a few years now. During this time frame, I've helped various customers manage their sales pipeline by bringing their business processes in Dynamics CRM or Dynamics 365 which is what we have today. On a side note, I love to cook. Simply love it. It's one of the biggest stress busters and well, yes, swimming too. So there you go. That's about me. Without further ado, let's dive into the course overview. This course is divided into four sections and in the first one called the basics, we'll try to understand what is CRM. That is customer relationship management. And why do we even need it? Once we know that CRM is a very integral part of any business, I'll introduce to one such offering from Microsoft, that is Microsoft Dynamics CRM or 365. We'll go ahead and quickly try to set up a trial instance, learn basic navigation techniques in the tool, and finally try to personalize it as much as we can to make sure that it does meet our likings and preferences. Next, we'll dive into the data. Try to understand how the data model of Microsoft Dynamics CRM looks like. We'll also go ahead and see how CRUD operations, that is create, read, update, and deletes, are performed in Dynamics CRM world. Having learned this, we'll take a look at how we can go ahead and import or export certain data from the system. And finally, end with a quick demonstration of a typical sales cycle in Dynamics. Now that we have some data in the system, we sure would want to do some analysis on it. What's the best way to start any analysis? By searching for some records. And this is when we'll come across one of the strongest tools in CRM, that is Advanced Find, which allows us to dig deep into millions of records and show us what we are really looking for. We'll also try to create views for a quick summary of all our data and create charts to look at the current trends. In order to get a good 360 view of the business, we need the information right at the beginning and that's where we'll utilize dashboards. And in the end, also take a good look at building reports. In today's world, no business is complete without having the right set of information at the right time and at the right place. And that is when mobility kicks in. We'll explore what's available for dynamic CRM on mobile and tablets. I'm sure if you're running a business, then you would have definitely come across Microsoft's Office Suite and Microsoft Outlook in particular. We'll see how Dynamics CRM connects to Outlook and helps us work with its data. I'm sure while running your business, you might have come across a scenario wherein you would be required to send monotonous emails to different leads to get them right information about your product. That's when we'll see how Microsoft Word templates help us. Similarly, no analysis is complete without Microsoft Excel, right? Let's say you have a small template built into Excel to see how your business is performing. We'll try to bring those templates into Dynamics CRM. I'm sure while running your business, you might have also come across a scenario wherein you would be required to send monotonous emails to different leads to get them right information about your product. That's when we'll see how Microsoft Word templates help us. Similarly, no analysis is complete without Microsoft Excel, right? Let's say you have a small template built into Excel to see how your business is performing. We'll try to bring those templates into Dynamics CRM to make sure that you always have the latest and updated data while referring to that Excel with Excel templates. That's too much of a content to cover in this small time frame. On a closing note, we'll try to summarize our learning and look at what we can do next in Dynamics CRM. Moving ahead, let's see what you will learn by the end of this course. Although I have mentioned this before, but let's try to summarize it. So by the end of this course, I'm sure you would be able to set up trial instances for any future demo purposes, work your way out in Dynamics CRM with navigation techniques, play around with CRM data, try to import or export any data from CRM, analyze it using dashboards, charts, and views. Finally, work with CRM mobile, tablet, and Outlook clients. Having said that, let's move forward. 
Let's take a look at some prerequisites or I would rather call target audience in this case for this course. If you are owning a business or managing sales and want to explore how can you drive results, make customers happy and encourage better collaboration among the sales community by Dynamics 365, then you are the right audience. If you are an IT pro and want a quick refresher to understand the capabilities of Dynamics CRM as a tool, then you are the right audience.